The Pope has endorsed the Catechism for Young People at the next World Youth Day. The text is called UCAT, an acronym for the title Youth Catechism, or Catechism for Young People. It has the promise to become a bestseller. Because of this, the Vatican will correct any errors of the Italian translation before approving the final version. We have coordinated with Cardinal Leveda the formation of a working group in the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith that will study the comments and corrections of the translation and the original German. The new editions of the Catechism will include these corrections. The Pope writes in the introduction that the UCAT is an extraordinary book, both for its content and its format. He refers to its intent to address the world and young people in a way that's as effective as possible. UCAT is a very special catechism because it was written based on questions by young people. They put forth a wide range of questions to the church, such as the meaning of death, why marriage is indissoluble, or why going to church is important. It also talks about issues of sexual morality and other current topics like abortion or internet use. The UCAT will provide arguments that give strength and courage to show an intelligent faith, even to those who don't practice, in order to show that Christianity is intelligent and beautiful. I think it's great that UCAT wasn't written with just theological language or in the slang that young people use. You can see that it puts forth serious questions to the reader. The book has already become a bestseller. The organizers for World Youth Day 2011 in Madrid have booked 700,000 copies that will go into the backpacks given away to the young pilgrims.